Are you an author, publisher, or entrepreneur? Sometimes the journey can get lonely and it becomes easy to think about throwing in the towel. But that doesn't have to be your own story. Let me tell you about a community of like-minded people where you can get support, motivation, and inspiration to keep going. It is called Online Publishers and Entrepreneurs Network. With over 35,000 active members, you don't have to feel alone and you can be assured of consistent value, honing your writing skills, learning new hacks to help you grow your business and brand. Join Open today and be open to a world of possibilities. Click on the link in description to join the community today. Hello guys, welcome to the Afrocentries podcast. <laughs> yes, I know I said our break is not going to be long, but to be honest, it's taking longer than I expected. So I thought rather than wait for season five to be fully ready before we launch out, I am going to go solo for a bit to have what I've called or titled the in-betweens. <laughs> So let's just say this is going to be the in-betweens before the next season. Season four ended and season five is in pre-production. But as you already know, it is the end of the year and a lot, a lot, a lot is happening. A lot of events, a lot of commitments here and there, you know, and it's a bit hard to catch some people with their busy schedules. And I really, really want to bring the best of the best to you guys. And thank you so much for your feedback because that feedback was like, wow, amazing stuff you guys, you know, put out on the feedback form. I celebrate each and every one of you. And if you are yet to give me your feedback, you are missing out though, because that means that I might end up not doing something that you really love because I'm going to ensure that I try my best to you know, work towards every feedback that I got from that form. So if you really want to share your thoughts with me and give me suggestions and things like that, I'm going to leave the link to that form on this episode so that you can also feel it if you are yet to feel it. But thanks to everybody who's filled it already. And yes, yeah, is here yeah, is to the in-betweens before season five. So the way it is looking, it is very possible that season five is going to air in 2022. But let's see, fingers crossed, we never can tell yet. All right, so today, starting off this in-between series. And um, with this in-between series, I might not make it like a particular day. So I will just come out and, and just... Just you, 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 you hear from me when you hear from me, okay? It could be frequently, it could be spaced out, but definitely these in-betweens are here for the period of time that the next season is going to be ready, okay? This one I've titled, We Forget. Oftentimes as humans, we forget. We forget to count our blessings. We forget those times when we made a difference in the life of others. We forget those few times that we made a stranger smile. We are so caught up in the things that are not going as planned. <laughs> Tell me about it. And we forget the things that we didn't plan but went on so well. Like that extra you know, income that you didn't plan for but somebody just remembered you and gave you a gig, quick gig, and you made that extra money that you did not even expect. We forget. We often forget the good things that were done to us and for us by others. Isn't it so amazing that the moment that people sleep or commit a blunder, we are quick to just generalize and use words like, he always does that, she never listens. And we just for a moment brush aside all the good deeds and react based on this single slip of character or intention. Like seriously, humans, brothers, sisters, mommy, daddies, <laughs> let's be coming down. Let's remember, this also affects how we feel about our own growth. Because we often forget how much progress we are making. Just take a look, sit back, relax, and take a look at your year so far. Since January till now, just choose to focus or, what do I say, zoom in on your wings alone this year. Count your blessings, smell the roses or smell the coffee, 
and see how far you've come. But what? No. We beat ourselves up every time we experience a setback. We fail to remember that we've been at this crossroad before and somehow we figured it out. Isn't that true? <laughs> well, you may argue with me that you don't forget. That's all right. If you have a very great memory, I salute you. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. But, you know, this particular episode is for those who sometimes forget. I am number one. <laughs> and so even as I speak to you right now, I am reminded. I am reminded of how far I have come this year. And so I want to remind you too that you are amazing. You have given value to someone at least once this year. And if you did it that once, you can do it again. You have succeeded at something this year. Please, please, don't even tell me otherwise because I know you have. And if you succeeded in that one thing, you can succeed in so much more. So, what would I leave with you today? Put systems in place to help you remember. Like journaling, for example. You know, it helps you. When you go through your journal, you will be amazed at some of the things that you've said this year, at some of the things that you've promised yourself that you would do and you're doing, at some of the things that you said you wouldn't do and you're actually not doing them. Please, check those things and give yourself a pat on the back. So, put systems in place. I mean, if you're a Christian and you're listening to me, in the Bible days, in the good book, like they would say, you know, the children of Israel would always forget. <laughs> and so whenever God does something for them, he would always tell them to raise up a memorial, to do something, to leave something so that generations to come can be reminded or can be told of these things that have happened. And I think the same should go for us. We can do the same. You can do the same today. Leave a sign, keep a journal, and read it periodically because sometimes, you know, We'll go out and take notes and take notes, go to conferences, take notes, take notes, take notes, and we don't even come back to those notes. And in those notes lies nuggets. Sometimes in those journals lies amazing pointers to the fact that you've made a lot of progress this year or even in your lifetime. All right? Sometimes you can just create a post online, use your social media platform as a memorial so remind yourself, thank God for platforms like Metaverse, well, Facebook, <laughs> you know, they'll always come back and say this time last year or uh, this time five years ago, you know, remind you of things you've posted. And sometimes you read those things and you're like, wow. Sometimes you read your past posts that Facebook brings to your remi remi remembrance and you are amazed at how consistent you've been in passing on a particular ideology. It's amazing. You need to remember you know, so that on those days when you feel down, you can go back and watch maybe a video you made from the past or take or look at a photo. You know, sometimes when, when, I'm, when I'm stressed out and I see my reflection or, or I take a picture and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. I don't even like how I look. When Google Photos bring back some photos from five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago, and I'm like, gosh, I am beautiful. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, wow, I'm really looking good for my age, you know? These are memorials. And we can even intentionally put those things in place to help us remember. So that on the days that when you feel down, you can just go back to them. <laughs> and you can be encouraged and reminded that, hey, if you were this once beautiful, don't worry. You can make up again and be beautiful. <laughs> if you've gone through this huddle before and you came out, you're still standing. It means that you can go through it again and come out standing. So my word with you today is put things in place to remember. Let's not forget how awesome we truly are. Because in case you've forgotten, let me remind you again. You, yes, you listening to me, you are awesome. And I celebrate you. All right. So I'll leave you with that today. Enjoy your day and have a fantastic one. Till I come here again with another in-betweens um, before the next season is ready. It is your girl, the Energetic EJ, signing out and saying, I love you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.